Welcome to the Clutch Tech Support Clutch Installation Lab. This is a 2002 Jeep Wrangler six cylinder five speed manual transmission. The owner was driving the Jeep the other day and the clutch pedal wasn't in the right position. Instead of being up, it was just kind of dangling on the floor. It made it uh, kind of awkward to drive. So she safely parked the vehicle off the highway, got a tow truck, and they took it into a shop. The shop actually fairly quickly repaired the Jeep with no parts required. So when I heard the story, I was like, wonder what they did. Took a quick look underneath the dashboard and the uh, repair became very obvious. They put a tie wrap securing the push rod back onto the clutch belt. Not exactly the correct repair for this particular vehicle. So let's take a look at that tie wrap repair and we'll install a new pre-filled clutch hydraulic release system on this 2002 Jeep Wrangler. Here's the clutch pedal, the push rod for the master cylinder, the start switch, and I think you can see the uh, tie wrap or zip tie that is now securing the push rod to the clutch pedal. The black zip tie holding the push rod onto the clutch pedal. And now when you push on the clutch pedal, you can see a little bit of motion play between the push rod and the clutch pedal pin that pushes on the push rod. That's what we got to fix. We're going to start by removing the master cylinder. There's two nuts on the inside around the start switch there that hold the master cylinder onto the firewall. Also, we're going to disconnect the start switch and lay it off to the side. The master cylinder can then be pulled out through the firewall. The slave cylinder, there's two nuts on studs that hold it into the transmission housing. Remove those two nuts. Now to make sure I got the routing right, which turned out to be pretty important, I tied a piece of cord onto the slave cylinder and then tied the end of that cord off to uh, an exhaust pipe. It was about four or five feet long. It just made kind of a trail of breadcrumbs for the line to follow when I pulled it back in on the new installation. This is the new completely pre-filled clutch hydraulic release system we're going to install. And notice the push rod is not installed in the master cylinder. If you install it now, it just makes the package a little bit longer, a little bit more challenging to work with. Let's make it easy. We'll install the push rod later. I used the string to pull the slave cylinder back down through there and it got the routing back. So the plastic hose went right back where it was, over this, under that. No question about the routing. Pretty easy installation. Just position the slave cylinder on the transmission housing, start the nuts, evenly tighten them down. Notice the retaining push rod straps are still intact. Leave them intact. It makes the system a little bit shorter, easier to install. When you push on the clutch pedal, they'll snap when they're ready. Also, please make sure that the line is routed correctly. Any guides, retainers, anything that positions that line, make sure to reposition it correctly so it's not rubbing on any sharp edges or near anything that's going to get the line overheated. Master cylinder is mounted back on the firewall. Now for the push rod. I'm going to take the push rod and insert it through the start switch put the retainer back on, then the foam ring and the shoulder washer. Note the position of the shoulder. Snap the push rod into the pedal arm pin, position the push rod in the master cylinder piston, and push on the clutch pedal lightly to lock the push rod into the piston. Pushing the clutch pedal all the way will break the retaining straps on the slave cylinder push rod. That's the normal operation. The installation of the pre-filled clutch hydraulic release system is complete. And with just a couple tips, pretty easy job. If you prefer, we do offer a master cylinder or slave cylinder separately. Your choice. Bleeding that is a little different if you install a component only. It's not really a bleeding process, it's a burping process. And we've got that covered on another video. If you have any questions about a clutch, flywheel, or hydraulic release system, our toll-free tech support line can be found on the Quick Start Guide.